right hi it's Tina with TSR Creations today I'm doing a video on how I make my Christmas ornaments so I'm going to be doing three different styles first one I'm going to do is the balls and I do these these are glass balls I got these on Amazon I also have bigger ones that I got at AC Moore like last year um, or two years ago um, so I have my ornaments I'm going to need for this project. I'm going to be doing the alcohol ink. So you need alcohol. You need choices of alcohol inks. I'm going to do one for you today. It's going to be red and black. I'm using Copic inks. And this is number R89, dark red. And I'm using Ranger uh, pitch black. I'm going to use those. Then I will add brass. And that's pinata brass into that a couple tools i will be using main maybe we'll definitely be using this this is the ranger um, hand pump uh, you'll need a hair dryer to dry it a little bit and i have my stick hair dryer that i use um, you can these little um alcohol they're ranger i don't even know they're stampers i guess and they have like felt and they come off um, but you can use that too. So we'll see. I might not use that. I have my alcohol in a little needle nose bottle. So that's for that one. Then I have these um, wooden discs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these I also have, um, and they're on their way. They're not here yet, but I might do the, um, the ones I ordered instead. They're same thing. They're round like this, but they're porcelain like tiles. Um, so if I get them in, I will do um, an alcohol ink on those, um, possibly a resin piece. Um, but on these, I was doing my resin. And a lot of times I would do like a beach, beachy scene, beachy ocean waves. That's it. So I'm going to show you how I do those. And the third one is just a little baby canvas. You can do alcohol ink if you um, prime it with a um, spray varnish. Um, and I have one of those here. So I did one of these. You put a little hook in it. I put a piece of paper. I glue a piece of like sparkly paper to the back and you got a little canvas. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do those. These come with their little stands. I'll show you how I use the little stands um, for my racks, um, drying racks, especially for the, for the balls. Um, the other type of ornament I have, but I, I'm not going to be showing you that one today is it's just again they're um, porcelain I got these at Michaels I believe yeah um, and these are alcohol inks so these are done I just have them drying um, they're pretty much done I sprayed them um, but this is another option you can do and you can pour on these too I just find that it's alcohol inks dry so much quicker you can move them around whereas with the pour you're gonna have to put them down do the one side and then do the other one um, I do the little canvases I do pours on the little canvases because you don't have to do the other side so that's just something to keep in mind all right so I'm gonna bring the camera down we'll get started on the first ornament all right all right so this is how I use the little stand I put masking tape here to hold it up so it's secure and then you can put your ball right there and that you can dry it like that um, way easy I also use it um, you can put it on there and do your alcohol inks if you want but I, I take it off so put that aside so this is what I did and this is all finished I already sprayed it with um, clear acrylic uh, varnish you the ones I use Where are they? They're right here so I use the Camar and this is a clear gloss and then I use and you can use matte finish you can use gloss you can do semi gloss whatever you want I like the gloss for these and this is the UV archival um, UV spray so um, these are a must you have to spray them It'll, you know even even spraying them they're gonna fade over time but and I, I do a few coats um, of each. So that's one. That's what we're going to do today. 
Okay, so let's get started. Let me get a ball. I just take the, you can keep the top on if you want, but I take the top off. And then you can, I just kind of put my finger in there to hold it. All right, so the first things first, I always just wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol. Just for any oils or fingerprints or whatever. Even though you're wearing gloves, but I just wipe them off. Any dust, all right. So, let's, all right. So I'm gonna take the red. All right, and I'm just gonna drip it on. I'm gonna move it around. And I might use white in here too. Maybe I'll use white and red. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just keep moving around, it's gonna move. It's gonna go around. And this is when I'll add the alcohol. And I'll blow it a little bit. And I leave some of the clear, um, so light will shine through. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do, I decided to do pours on the little piece of wood and the little canvas. So the little canvas I taped the back, really it doesn't really matter because you're gonna, I'm gonna finish the back anyway. So I did tape the back though. And this one we're gonna have to do both sides. So once it's dry on the one side, you gotta do the other side or you can paint the one side like silver, metallic or gold. I've done that before too, or put glitter on it. So I might do that. Alright, you know what, this tape that actually is bothering me. I never taped the backs before, I thought I would try it, that's bothering me. So we're gonna do it like that. Alright.
All right, so on to the resin portion. So I got these ceramic tile um, ornaments and I will link, I'll give you the link to where I purchased them in my description. So they're just tile, they're like tiles, right? Nice, nice quality. Um, I am gonna tape the backs of these so we don't make a huge mess. And then I have a little heart. So I'm gonna do two. And these are beachy ocean wave ornaments that I'm making, okay? I live at the beach and that's what people like here. So so um, real quick, I'll give these a wipe down with some alcohol and then I'm gonna mix my resin up and I'm just gonna show you real quick how I do that. Probably gonna make a little extra cause I'm gonna end up making more of these after I turn the camera off. But just for, the, for you guys, I'm gonna make these three. So I have this graduated cup. I got these on Amazon. I have my KS resin and it's two part resin, one to one ratio. I have a coupon code in my description box, save you 10%. I'll just click the link and purchase it through there. Okay, I am back. Um, I'm gonna wipe these down again because I touched them. I forgot I hadn't um, taped them. So I'm gonna wipe them down again with alcohol. All right, you saw how easy it was to tape them. Whoops, all right. So, okay. So I have my resin all ready. I'm going to separate. little cups it's better to separate the resin um, because it heats up quicker if it's left all in the same cup all right so let's do some in here I think I'm gonna do one two three I'm gonna have four colors I'm gonna have white I'm gonna have um, a light blue, or like an aqua, a royal blue, and a dark blue. And then obviously you need a little bit of clear. All right, and that'll be enough color for all of those. So, it should be anyway. Um, I'm just gonna move that out of the way, put these here. Colors I'm gonna use are, these are primal pigments, mica powders. So I'm going to be using this is called indigo, indigo, pretty. So we're gonna use a little of that. Dropping all kinds of stuff in my studio. Okay, so that one. Um, I'm gonna actually put in, yeah, I'll wait to do that. So I'm gonna be using a little of, um, Anthraqueen blue and this is an acrylic paint and when you work with paints and resin you have to be careful because it will if so just a very tiny amount it's usually like 10% pigment to your resin um, if not it gets like really sticky and uh, thick so that's good I'll mix this one up with the mica powders, you can be a little bit more generous, I've I found. That's pretty. I 
kind of want a lighter blue too. So I might, well, let's see. All right, so then I have Aruba Mica. And again, this is a primal pigment. I'll just take a little scoop, put it in there, maybe a little bit more. Better to put your pigments in your cups and then the resin, but that's all right. So that's pretty, all right. And I might just add a little bit, make a light blue. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to use paint. Um, do I have a light blue? I have this this is this is good this is lake blue uh, master's touch i'm just going to use a tiny 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 bit of that like that's it tiny all right and i'm going to add a little of this this is bling these are color shift um, mica powders and this one is a um, blue interference blue and I'm gonna put just a little of that in my dark blue just a tiny bit just to give it a little shine see it's starting to get thick see I might have to add more resin to that one which I have plenty of. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to that one and a little bit more to that one so we don't get too thick. Let's see, okay. So then I have this casting craft and this is what I use for my waves. I'm gonna add just a little of the casting craft to that blue, light blue, the lake blue, to make it a lighter blue. And that's perfect. Perfect. All right. So I have all my colors. Oh, aren't they pretty? Now I have my waves. And this is actually probably too much for my waves. So I'm going to just take a little bit less. Which is probably almost the same amount. But that's all right. And for the waves. What I'm going to use today is I have this. This is from islandmicasandmore.com. I'll put her uh, website down. She's got some great pigments. She's got a nice YouTube channel. And she does a lot of resin. So I'm going to use a little of that. I can get it out. I don't have much of that left. All right. I've used that quite often. I might have a hole in my glove. And I'm going to use this... Um, white mica and this is from mad micas everything will be linked in the description so I'm gonna put a little of that and I'll we'll mix that up see what I got okay so it's not quite white enough okay so I'm gonna take the casting craft and this I think is what really helps good the way but the secret is a little bit of alcohol ink, white alcohol ink. And mix it up. Okay, so they're my waves. All right, let's get started here.
So all the um, resin ornaments are dried um, and I was cleaning them up and I was like, oh, I should really just make a video real quick and show them how I clean them up. So first you have to take off all the back tape and in order to do that, I did, I already, already did all these, but you heat it up. You heat, heat it up a little bit and then it peels right off and the resin comes off with it. But then you see you have these yucky edges you know and they're like sharp and um, just not appealing so we're gonna clean those up so this you can see that is gonna look like that all right and they look really professional it looks like they were printed on here right all right so we're gonna do one real quick so what I do is I heat it up again all right I'm just going to go heat it up a little bit. Okay. So it should be, and you got to be really careful. I'm going to be using a um, X-Acto knife. And you're going to just take it. And you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to cut the porcelain. And you're just gonna, there you go, see? And it should come off. If you feel like you're getting a little tent, like that's a little thicker piece, but it's coming off, see? out so looks good it's all nice and clean around the edges if you feel any little spots just go really really carefully just like glide it on there okay. so I feel a little there a little there but other than that it's all done so the edge. Alright, so that's how I do them. So here they all are. Um, they come out really cool. I will either put a ribbon out of here or it comes with like a little silver tag, but I don't know that I'm going to use those. I'll probably put ribbon or sometimes I just put a really fancy hook. Uh, but that's it. They look great. I'm really happy with them. There's the hearts came out pretty cool all right there's another one all right well that's it um so this video is finally complete that one came out cool looks like a wave um and i hope you enjoyed it i hope i gave you a little inspiration to uh make some of these this this holiday season but actually these can be like out all the time you can hang it from like a like a knob off of a um, china cabinet or I don't know whatever but they're cool actually use them as coasters too didn't have the hole on them all right bye guys thanks <laughs>